In this video, we'll be going over our first set of Tekken 8 rank distribution statistics. These stats are really interesting as they give you a good idea of where your rank is compared to most players, how good you are, and how proud of your own rank you should be. Now quickly before we start, apparently this was extrapolated from a smaller data subset, so this isn't supposed to be 100% entirely accurate, but it is going to give you a general basic idea of where your rank lies. So let's get into the video. Okay, so it seems like we've just received our first bit of like statistics on the Tekken 8 rank distribution. It's still early on, so it's not going to be like super meaningful, but stats like this are important because a lot of people ask me like, oh, okay, what rank is intermediate? What rank does beginner level start? What rank is intermediate? How good is my rank compared to most people? Like what's a rank I can be proud of? A lot of people are really, really interested in stats like this, which is why it's super, it's super cool to have these stats available. So we're going to check them out. They were just released. So this is what we're looking at. Let me move my, uh, my webcam to the top so you can see it better. Um, and really quick, of course, it does say here, it's from uh, not quite factual where this data has come from, but this infographic was made by this person, I think. Um, extrapolated from a smaller data subset. So obviously it's not gonna be the most accurate thing in the world. This could be like inaccurate. So don't take it super seriously, more just for, this is more just like for fun. Just if you want to like, like a very general idea of like where your rank is at in Tekken 8 and what your rank means. And uh, yeah, I think looking at stats like this is really, really, really fun. So um, make this a little bit smaller. Let's talk about, uh, let's talk about this. So right off the bat, we can notice that, um, well, I'm gonna go over like every rank and like what, what percentage it is, but right off the bat, we can notice that um, Garyu is now the most popular rank. Um, I know in the end of Tekken 7, it was leaning towards this. At the beginning of Tekken 7, in the earlier season, it seemed like red ranks were like a little bit more exclusive, like more intermediate, higher level. But towards the end, it seemed like everybody was in red ranks. Like I think that was like, like this stat is pretty similar to the final Tekken 7 stats, I wanna say. I'm not entirely sure. But it is interesting that red rank has now become the most populated. But let's take a look at this. So um, we can see here, beginner, 5%, people who just haven't really played ranked. Uh, first Dan, second Dan, fighter, strategist, combat, combatant. So these are all like, the very low ranks. Brawler is the first rank we're going to look at. So 3.91% of players are in Brawler. And if we look at the stats here, it means that Brawler is ahead of approximately 16% of players. So at the bottom 84%. If you're in Brawler, you're ahead of 16% of people who play ranked. 16. So definitely a beginner rank for sure. Um, mainly what's interesting about these ranks is they've added in Tekken 8 now. Warrior and below, you actually can't drop rank. So beginner all the way to yellow rank here. And which is why yellow rank has 6.43%. You actually, anyone can get warrior rank because you literally don't lose points. You could literally just mash buttons and eventually you're gonna get wins and you're gonna get up here. So um, something worth noting there, warrior is like a, is basically like the starting line when like actually rank starts and you start to lose points. So let's take a look at warrior. 6.43% of players are in this rank, which means we're ahead of approximately 23% of players. So if you're a warrior and you've just gotten to like the starting point, you're still already ahead of 23% of players who probably just don't care about ranked. Like all the play, I'd say all the players below here, most likely you're just like brand new. You just started playing a couple days ago. If you've been playing for a while, you're probably going to be in warrior. And it's not even, a, like I said, it's not even a matter of skill. It's just, if you play a lot, you'll get here because there's no, uh, there's no losses. You don't lose any points. So pretty interesting. And after here, it gets a lot more interesting because that's when like the real rank experience starts and you like, lose points. So um, we go up to Vanquisher, which is the first rank in orange rank, 8.34% of players. So this is the second most populated rank. Second most, you're, if you're the second most likely rank you're, you're going to be in is going to be Vanquisher. And if we look at the stats here, so Vanquisher is ahead of 41% of players in ranked. So about the top 60%, top like 50, 59. Um, but yeah, if you're in Vanquisher, it means you're going to be ahead of 41% of players, still average or slightly below average. So yeah, top 60%. Nothing crazy, but you are starting to make your way up if you are in Vanquisher. You're ahead of uh, a good amount of people. Pretty interesting. Really quick, sorry to interrupt the video, but if you guys are enjoying this content and want to support me and my dream of doing this YouTube thing full time, please consider subscribing to the channel. Only about 9% of the people who watch me are subscribed. I have way more tech and content coming, including more analytical videos like this, beginner's guides, advanced tutorials, and way more. It's free to do and you can always change your mind later. Anyway, back to the video. And then we get to um, red rank. So Garyu, 10.73%, like I mentioned earlier, super surprising. So if you make it to Garyu, make it to Red Ranks, you're ahead of about 63% of players. So about top 40%. This would be better than average. Um, I'd say at this level, you're probably getting to around the intermediate ranks. Like being being ahead of 63% 60, of people who play ranked, that's like, it's nothing to scoff at. I mean, obviously there's like way more people who are gonna be higher ranked than you, but it's definitely nothing to scoff at. So 
if you do make it to Red Ranks, that's still, even though it's like, even though you'd, you want to say like, oh, it's very populated, like, so it doesn't mean much, but you have to look at like all the people you're ahead. You're still ahead of, like I said, 63% of players, you're still ahead of them. So pretty interesting there. So Red Rank is like, usually we would have said Red Rank would be like the start of Intermediate because it is like kind of the average rank in this game. Like around here is like the most average rank right now. This is probably like the start of Intermediate level, maybe. It kind of depends on what you define intermediate. A lot of people define intermediate play as just being the average. So if that is what you define it, then this would be the start of intermediate play. Personally, I want to say that, in my opinion, intermediate play would probably start a little bit above average. So maybe a little bit like the uh, the Shinryu, um, like the ranks kind of here, and maybe like getting into purple ranks. But that's just my opinion. It doesn't really matter at all. Still a very, still an impressive rank that you should be proud of. So, red ranks, we can see 5.63, 4.61, and then we get up to Mighty Ruler, which is the purple ranks. So, this it puts you ahead of about 84% um, of players. So, if you are you make it to purple ranks, that's an achievement. You're ahead of 84% of players in ranks. This puts you in the top 20, almost the top 15%. Um, definitely an achievement for sure. Purple rank is like, you You can see the stats get lower and lower and lower. So, once you make it past like the first red rank, you're going to be ahead of like the majority of players in Tekken. So definitely something to write home, home about. I'd say like, yeah, Mighty Ruler area is where we start getting into like some players will actually like know what they're doing. You'll start getting into like more fundamental play, more um, less gimmicks. I mean, there's still a lot of gimmicks, but the game's still new. So a lot of people are still mashing buttons. But yeah, I'd say between Red Ranks here and Mighty Ruler, probably like intermediate level of play, you know what you're doing if you're in these ranks. And we see there's a big decrease from 4.26 to 1.69 in Fujin. So Fujin has typically been like considered a, like the start of like, I don't want to say high level play because it's like nowhere near tournament level play, but like you're good at the game if you're in Fujin. Like these are good players are in Fujin rank. So if we look at Fujin, Fujin is actually going to be ahead of 92% of players in ranked. So you're in the top 8% of players, according to this data, if you're in Fujin. So Fujin is a very strong rank. Um, this is where I would say most people, like I said, start to play at a semi-high level. I'm personally in Fujin. I had to put like quite a bit of work to get in there, but I know a lot of other players um, have gotten it pretty easily. So, but like the stats don't lie. If we're just basing this purely off of stats, Fujin is like a very, very impressive rank. Very impressive. Like top 92% of players in any game is uh, something worth noting. So yeah, that's going to be a higher, pretty exclusive rank. And we go even further if we look at Tekken King. Only 0.21% of players are in Tekken King. And above that, so you're ahead of 95% of players if you make it to Tekken King, which is the first uh, gold rank. So this is going to be an even more exclusive rank. And we look at these percentages. We're all the zero points. Uh, 0 0.51, 0 0.35, 0 0.21. Like the numbers are just going down, down, down. So these are very exclusive ranks. Probably going to be pretty much all strong, very strong players in Tekken King and above. Mostly veterans who've been playing Tekken for a long time. I don't imagine most new players will be able to get to this rank without putting like a very good amount of practice. I'm not even there yet, and I've been playing since Tekken 7. So Tekken King, Tekken Emperor, um, Tekken Lord, and then obviously Tekken God Supreme, very exclusive and God of Destruction. Not many people are in these ranks at all in the world. You're like the, the best of the best pretty much in terms of ranked. So I just thought these statistics were really, really interesting to look at. I always take an interest in like going over stuff like this. Basically, the average will be around orange rank to a Garyu, and then everything past that, you start getting higher than the average and it just gets more and more. So this is our first look at the Tekken rank distribution. Again, not gonna be super accurate, more just for fun, um, but it is like interesting to get our first set of data of, of like, what does your rank mean in Tekken 8? So that's gonna be about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe to support me, and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.